forgotten everything that I said I was going to read for Reading Rush, so now I have to look up my Reading Rush TBR and figure out what I chose to read. What else? Like, I'm staring at my bookshelf and nothing is clicking. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? I have only human. I the beautiful. I could have just gone to my Instagram. Just a coin really to your picture. Oh, valley of penis. Okay, only human, the beautiful. Okay, and then there were none. Wow, I'm really dumb. And I also don't know where that book is. Oh, no. I'm worried because this is mystery. I don't really read mystery, but everyone's saying how good it is, so. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Now, it's midnight. Let's get started. Hey, act, ep, ek, et. And yes, at act oyans ot ot ayan. I just wanted to give a quick little rundown of what I felt about Only Human. This is the final book in the Themis Files trilogy and it was really good. I do have some complaints, but I'm not really here to complain right now. And everyone in this book is just a horrible human being in some way or another because everyone's in it for their own selfish intentions and they all do bad things to get those goals achieved. <laughs> Ten little soldier boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Nine little soldier boys sat up very late. I am very uncomfortable with the energy that we've created in the studio today. Okay, so... Wait a damn minute. So far, I have seen two or three instances of anti-semitism and then i've also seen a blatant use of a racial slur i'm slurring my words just trying to say it when i it popped up and i wasn't ready for it um so that's fun it was written in the 1940s or like originally published in 1939 i don't know but um it was published a long time ago, and I expected it to be certain things that are different from how I view them. But then just like that, I don't like these characters. I don't root for them. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to keep reading even though I really don't want to, honestly. So yeah, back to reading, back to suffering. I will talk to you later. It's me, Jesse and Ari. If we, if they test me, they're sorry. Ride us up like a hurry and pull up in this Ferrari. Hi. You're probably wondering, JLo, why are you wearing sunglasses inside at 11.04 p.m.? And my answer to that is, mind your business. And then my real answer to that is the fact that I feel like I look like a troll right now, and I just don't want you to see me. So, just... Cut the cameras. Dead end. I hope this lighting is okay. I honestly haven't checked and it's probably not. I just started The Beautiful last night. I am about 200 pages into it and it is going okay. I feel like I'm not really, it's, I feel like this book isn't really for me. Um, like I am not really a vampire person. It's very much a like Celine who is the main character. She's not like other girls and she's always wondering why can't they just be like everybody else. I read and then there were none. And I just don't know how that's a bestseller. I would never read it again because my problems with it are the racism and the anti-Semitism and just all these other problematic things. And my theory is that people have been reading a different edition than me because my edition, even though I believe it was only published in 1997 or something like that, I don't think it was published that long ago. But my edition is older. But anyway, I assume that my edition has all the problematic language in it that later editions or even editions that maybe were being printed other than that one just doesn't have. And so a lot of people don't know how problematic this book really is. But I found phrases in it 
that just completely threw me off guard because they were extremely racist. And it was used twice in the book. And it wasn't used in a way that kind of shows that the character is a bad person. It was more like just stating that this character was trying to say something weird is going on. And so they used the most racist phrasing possible to do it. And so that was my biggest gripe with the book. And I expressed that to my friend and I was like, I don't really feel comfortable reading this anymore um, because of what I just saw. And then she went and did some research and she saw that the original name of the book was 10 Little N-Words. <laughs> and I was like, oh, and I mean hard R. And I was just like, that's really not good. Some other things were like the name of the, there's like an island that they all go to and it's called Indian Island, which I assume was changed in later printings because people would find that problematic. And I didn't realize that this was something that maybe was changed until I was reading an audiobook because I just couldn't get through the physical copy. The audiobook kept changing Indians to sh soldier boys because there was like these China figures in the book and every time they addressed the China figures they in the book it was Indians but in the audiobook they called them soldiers so and then also when I was listening to the audiobook when I saw that phrase for the second time that um, the racist phrase they had changed the phrase to the unknown soldier so yeah there's clearly someone out there who knew that this was not okay and so they changed it for the future printings of it but in my printing it was all sorts of problematic if you've been watching this long thanks for watching and hopefully we only have a few more minutes left of this vlog not a vlog I didn't know that we were inviting clowns. Rapist, because again, it's absolutely exempted pedophilic behavior. First of all, talk about all the books I read for Reading Rush this year. In the span of the 20th to the 26th of July, I read 1,311 pages and I read five books. I was supposed to read six books, but I kind of knew that I wouldn't. So I started with Only Human by Sylvan Nouvelle and this was a great way to kick off the Reading Rush. Tuesday, I just read nothing at all because that's on brand for me. Then I picked up And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie and I've already talked enough about that book in this vlog but I really don't know how you guys let me read a racist book and just didn't give me any warning. So it's in the trash where it belongs. Um, moving on, then I picked up The Beautiful by Renee Audier and this was not really for me. I gave it 2.5 stars. Oh, and I forgot to mention And Still I Rise. I read that as well. It was really, really good. And then just to add to more of that black excellence, I read Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, which I really, really enjoyed this book. The last book I was supposed to read was The Last Wish. I did not read it. I did not even open it. Um, yeah, you know, to be expected. I had a pretty big TBR, so... It's fine, I'll live, I'll pick it up eventually. Hopefully I'll pick it up soon because I really do want to read this, but it just wasn't meant for the reading rush. So that's all the important bits to cover about this reading rush. I think I'm done talking. I think I'm done reading. I'm going to go rest. You guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you in another video.